Hello, folks. Another informational video. Boy, I get a lot of people that are always asking me, how do I tell if my tortoise has a respiratory infection? Or I think my tortoise has a respiratory infection. I don't think there's a day goes by where somebody doesn't send me a video or a picture of their tortoise sneezing or coughing. Now, technically, they can't sneeze or cough because they don't have a diaphragm, but believe me, they sneeze and cough. It's just because they're trying to expel something from their sinuses or their nose or whatever. They're, they replicate the same action, which is like a sneeze. So, uh, Aldabras are a little more difficult than other types of species tortoise to tell if they have respiratory infections, and I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this tortoise and we're going to look and, and for the key elements of respiratory infection or not. So let's get a little closer in on here. So what I want to do is I want to look at his nose and his mouth, and I want to see if there's any kind of discharge coming out his nose or his mouth. And one of the ways to do that is Normally, in this static mode, we don't see anything, but you can also push their head back in their shell. You've got to be careful not to cover up their nares, which is what you're trying to see. So let's just get here in the light, and I can see his nares there nicely, and I got his head way back there, and there is no discharge. So uh, it's not unusual for an Aldabra to have a little wetness at the end of his nose, and that's because Aldabras actually drink water through their nose. A lot of those cases where people tell me that they think they have a respiratory infection, they don't realize they're soaking their animals a lot. A lot of people soak their animals once a day. A lot of times, when an Aldabra is drinking from the water, they always will have wetness at their nose. And if you disturb them, especially on the adults, and they pull their head back, they'll shoot the water out of their nose. So just because they have a little wetness or a little water at the end of their nose doesn't mean they have a respiratory infection. Sometimes we see the sneezing that they do. The sneezing you know, is a sign for concern. There are a lot of different reasons they sneeze. They have a chucking noise that they make. And there's going to be some examples in this video as we go along of some of the different cases that I've been involved with helping people with their tortoises. So uh, those pictures will be available. Uh, those little short videos will be available. Okay, so what we, what we want to observe is, was there any discharge from their nose or their mouth? The other thing that we're looking for is, is what does he look like? You know, see here, his eyes are open. Some tortoises' eyes aren't open. If he has a discharge from his nose and his eyes aren't open and he's not moving around like this, you see, he's very animated. You know, that, that means to me, you know, maybe he is sick. But this doesn't look like a sick tortoise. This tortoise is moving around. His legs are flailing. His head is in and out. His eyes are open, nice and bright. Doesn't have a discharge from his nose. This looks normal to me. So uh, one other thing I want to mention while I'm on this end here is um, also some, uh, it's not unusual for baby Aldabra tortoises to get a little infection right here in the corner of their mouth on either side. And that's because of the food they're eating. Sometimes they'll have some abrasion on that and they'll get a little infection. And that infection will actually go inside the mouth as well as outside the mouth. And the way that you treat that infection, there's gonna be some videos here of, those, uh, of that condition. The way we treat that infection is we use a betadine swab Mm -hmm. Just to braid that area a little bit, trying to square it away some of that scab or some of that infection. We do it on the inside as well as the outside. And the other thing is if that doesn't cure, a lot of times it does, uh, we use an antibiotic like septazidine for 10 days. And, uh, you know, they, they do rather well. They, they improve uh, pretty easily, providing you don't let it get, you know, it just doesn't get crazy where you let it go on too long. So we're going to continue. Another thing that, that baby tortoises, baby Eldabra tortoises have, check out his nares, the two little openings at the end of his nose, a lot of times that'll become clogged. If those nares become clogged, that's a reason for them sneezing because they can't breathe through their nose properly. They're trying to discharge uh, some food particles or mud. dirt. I've seen tortoises have problems with sneezing because they're putting their food, they're eating tortoise chow or the food is in the dirt and they'll ram dirt and mud up in their nose. They get the end of their nose clogged. And I've seen some some pretty bad infections actually start from that point just because there was something physically clogged in the end of his nose. So you got to take, you got to, you got to check out his nares. Those nares are tiny in small tortoises. And if they're clogged up, you know, sometimes they're hard to see. And if they're clogged up for a long time, they'll actually grow a skin over that area that you have to puncture with a needle to get that, to get those passageways open again. Back to doing this guy's physical. So, here again, we're going to look at his condition, his body condition. So we'll come in a little bit. Look at his top of his head. No, I'm not concerned about the skin here and everything. I made another video uh, where we see that they do shed 
Look how nice and round the top of his head is here. See all that meat there? Look at that. Look at all that tissue there. Same thing on his leg here. You, there was a previous video where I was showing the legs. Look how nice and round this comes in the front here. That's because there's a lot of soft tissue there. Look how nice and round this is. Just like my, my arm here. You see all that? It's round. It's not flat. When these areas become flat, that's them losing weight. So you want to see some nice round legs, a nice round head. That's giving you an idea of body condition. Their shells on these, these um, the carapace is not soft. But especially on small giant tortoises like Galapagos and Aldabras, the bottom is actually a little soft. And that's because of the speed that they grow. That can harden, otherwise the tortoise couldn't grow properly. So if you have a little bit of give here, don't worry about that. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. And then we're going to continue here in the back. And we're going to look at his thighs. Again, look, look at all of the meat. Look at all of the tissue here. I can feel all of that tissue. So this is a tortoise that's been eating and he's doing well. Okay, An another thing is it's important if you're, if you're thinking about maybe my tortoise is sick. Everybody that has these small Aldabra tortoises, Galop tortoises, whatever, small uh, baby tortoises in general, keep check their weight. Because the weight is the guide. If you watch their weight, they don't lose weight. Aldabra tortoises will gain anywhere from 2 grams to 10 grams a month. Uh, I mean, 2 to 10 grams a day. That's a lot of weight. So if I see a tortoise and somebody thinks that it's having a respiratory infection, I want to see does it have a discharge, are the eyes open, is the tortoise eating? That's an important factor. Is the tortoise walking around? Is he alert? Is he gaining weight? If I see all of those things happening, I'm not thinking this tortoise is sick. He's moving around. He's eating. He should be defecating, so you've got to make sure he's getting his stool. I don't see any loss of body weight, so I don't think this tortoise is sick because those are the symptoms. I've seen people go to vets and, and end up with a $1,300 bill because they, they, they took samples for viruses. They took, they took blood. They did an x-ray. Um, and, and, and in some cases, they even scoped them. And they walk out of there with a $1,300 bill, and, and they don't know by the time they come out if it was sick or not. It's important to get with a reptile vet. And when I say reptile vet, I, I mean, if you have an Aldabra tortoise, find some vets, and there are vets out there. These are not that unpopular anymore. There are vets out there that know and understand these animals. So it's important to make sure you get a vet that, that it deals with these animals frequently. Otherwise, you're going to end up with something mis being misdiagnosed because a tortoise is a tortoise isn't a tortoise because I can put a red foot here and he doesn't act like an Aldabra. He's not going to discharge all that water like these guys always have a wet nose, much more than a, than a, a, a red foot or much more than a, than a sulcata, which is a desert tortoise. So you've got to take those things into consideration. Okay, so to address some of the, the symptoms that people are seeing with the, the coughing and the sneezing and everything, again, Aldabras drink water through their nose. Not unusual for them to have a little wetness at the end of their nose. If you disturb them and you push their head in after they come out of the water or a drink, you're going to see that discharge. That's not abnormal. What you're really looking for is follow that weight. Let that weight be your guide. Is he eating? Is he walking? Is there a discharge from his nose? Are his eyes open? Do I see good body condition? Those are ways to determine if your tortoise is really sick or not. So do those checks. Make sure you're checking for those things if you're getting a little bit worried that maybe your animal is sick. And just because you see a drip or he sneezes and everything, not a, there's not a, a reason to panic. So I hope that video helps some people. Uh, take care. Take care, everybody. Appreciate the support.